This week, Blue Cross Blue Shield of California released the highest rates in 10 years for small groups. Meaning, if you're an employer headquartered in California and you're offering benefits with Blue Cross Blue Shield between one and 100 employees and your plan renews January 1st, 2024, this impacts you. So what are the rates? Well, the rates released, they're between 4.3 and 14.6% across all small group plans off exchange. So if you haven't already gotten this information, it's going to be due 60 days prior to your renewal date. So you should have gotten word from your broker by 1031. So, you know, that means that you kind of have to act quickly because if you're not hearing about this already, you should likely reach out to the carrier or your broker because the rates are here. They are like we've, we've gotten them released. So why does this even matter? If your group's monthly invoice on Blue Cross Blue Shoot of California, let's say is 25K a month, which means likely you have around, say just 20 employees even, right? And their families, they're also on the plan. That means that even a 10% increase puts you at 2,500 more per month, which is 30 grand more per year. So that means your annual premium is going from 240K potentially to 270K for similar or the exact same plans. I mean, that's that's pretty serious cash and it is worth exploring how you can continue to offer such an amazing carrier to your team if that's your carrier of choice. Blue Cross Blue Shield is super popular with people in California and the best thing about them is it converts nationally. So if you have people in Florida, you have people that are in Illinois, Texas, these different places, if you're on the right network, you can actually offer a great national plan if you have remote employees. So, you know, what options do you have? Well, there's one way that you can beat your renewal this year. And the renewal, again, it could be anywhere between 4.3 and 14.6%. That's going to depend on utilization, a few other items um, and factors, what county you're in, all that, what region are you in. There's a lot of different factors, which is why you want to have your broker's involvement here. So the number one way or the only way to beat this is honestly, it's the PEO. You must go on a PEO that offers Blue Cross Blue Shield of California in order to escape the largest small group plan increase in the last 10 years. So here's the truth. If you've ever shopped a PEO before, you'll notice that they ask you when you're filling out those forms, well, when was your renewal? When is your renewal? If you tell them January 1st, and you're within 60 days of the renewal in some PEOs, it's even 90 days. But if you're within 60 days of the renewal, they know that you have the renewal or you should have access to it. And they're going to ask for it. Why? Well, because the renewal percentage is going to impact your pricing when they benchmark your company's risk profile, meaning the employee demographics, the SIC code that you're in. All these little bits of information tell them a little something about the group. And before they invite you on to their platform where they allow you access to national plans that they have other employees on as well, they want to make sure they properly vetted you out. So what they'll do is they'll ask you for your renewal. And that is the one way they can see the utilization. Now, look, insider tip is Q1 2024, if the average you know, renewal is 8.4%, across all the plans between that 4.3 and 14.6 variance, 8.4 is the average. They're going to reprice your group if you don't make a decision by October 31st. Why? Because now they have access to information that they didn't have before, right? So if you want to beat the renewal, that's why you not only want to lock in a quote with the PEO by the 31st of October, but you also want to position yourself to be able to execute an agreement by October 31st. So there's two outcomes. One first outcome is, look, hey, you get a PEO quote. If it matches your current rate today, take it. If it's better than your like rate that you're having right now and they're able to show you a savings potentially on the medical sp specifically, then take it and run with it quickly as you can, right? Why? Well, the second outcome is, Let's just say the PEO comes back and they decline the quote. Decline the quote means that they don't believe that they're with any reasonable range of what you're currently paying today. Well, then that means that the open market, the uh, California plans, those are perfect for you. They're for people in that situation where the risk doesn't make sense, right? This is how you beat your law of averages. If you're in a small group and you work in the large group ever, you get over 100 employees. 
then you start to get into utilization. You can start negotiating plan designs and rates and all these different fun things that we do as brokers in the background. But with the PEOs, they're able to do that and be very selective. So when they're looking at your renewals, that is like the one place where they can get some information on how you're using the plan. Because again, if you're over the average of what everybody, all 90,000 or so folks that are on this like renewal, if you're doing better than them, then they're going to offer you probably better rates. If you're doing worse than them, then they're probably going to offer you something that allows them to account for that risk. So how do we make a process that even in somebody who's an expert in this, it takes typically 30 to 45 days to go from first meeting in the PEO to the point of feeling good to get the quote and executing the documents, 30 to 45 days. We need to all of a sudden slam this into a 19 day process with three weekends, meaning that we have 13 business days or so to get this done. So, um, so here's what we did. So at, at least at Think HR and Insurance Services, what we've done is we have an amazing PEO ecosystem par of partners. And I've spoken specifically to our PEO partners who have Blue Cross Blue Shield of California as one of the carriers. And I've asked them to give you, if you're a prospect and you're not one of our clients, I want our prospects to get the exact same access that, our, that we get for our clients with the top PEO consultants that we are typically assigned to. So they know my process, I know their process, and we want to be able to quickly and efficiently help you collect the exact information necessary in 30 minutes or less. Because we want to help you not only understand, hey, how do we beat this renewal, the largest renewal that we've seen from Blue Cross Blue Shield of California in over 10 years, how do we beat this renewal and allow you to keep Blue Cross Blue Shield as your carrier of choice? I want to make this happen for you. So in order for me to do my job and fulfill my commitment of at least assisting you to see if, hey, can we beat this or not? I've asked not only my team to invest 25 minutes for a benefit strategy session, and we typically only do this for our clients that use us as their broker of choice. Meaning like in this discussion, we're not going to just talk about your options, but we're going to go over your current plan designs. We'll go over your current invoice on Blue Cross Blue Shield. We'll look at your employee demographics. Then we'll collaborate on, hey, how do we create a strategy that allows us to see, does it even make sense to introduce you to the PEOs? Does it? You know, because at the end of the day, if we're going to help as many people as we can beat this renewal, we need to make sure that we're only introducing the people who are the most qualified and have a chance at beating this to our PEO reps, right? Because Again, we have the top reps assigned to us. And so look, if you want to book a strategy session with us, please book a session, be on time, be prepared, and be ready to have an open and honest conversation about, you know, what it is that your team is looking for. You know, what kind of plan designs like do you think people would enjoy? What are some areas of improvements we could potentially make? What are some things that you know your team is using today? And what things do you feel like you really need help on? Also, you know, what is your budget? Do you know your budget right now? If you don't know your budget, we can help you figure some of those things out as we go through the process. However, the one thing I do ask again is if you book a strategy session with us at this time, please be on time. Or if something comes up, which things do, just shoot us a note, send us an email. So what I'll do for you is I'm gonna put my link below to my calendar. And again, I've asked my team and also my PEO partners to invest at least 25 minutes with you on a benefit strategy session so that we can see if we can help you beat this Blue Cross Blue Shield renewal. Because again, it's the largest one in 10 years. I think the PEO is a perfect solution for somebody if it does make sense. And look, if we can be in a position where we beat your renewal, you're getting access to our ecosystem of PEO partners where you're getting preferred rates. And also you're gonna be able to get us to negotiate for you two-year rate locks if it makes sense. Maybe it makes sense for us to like look at different plan designs. We'll be able to look at multiple carriers. We can help you benchmark it against other items. Really, these are things that all brokers should be doing. However, not every broker works with the PEOs. So we understand that, we get it. In this very scenario, if you wanna look at the PEOs, we're not gonna ask you to be the broker of record right off the bat. We're gonna say, hey, let's at least look at the PEOs and give you access to the people who can help you and see if we can get you um, out of this renewal situation because it's big, it's meaningful. And that example I used with the 25K, 
a lot of our clients and people that we work with, if you're 60 employees, that could be 90K. That could be a job for somebody. That could be more benefits for the entire team. That can mean fully funding an HSA or an FSA for a company. That can mean a lot, right? Sometimes that's the runway we need in order to be able to get to the next level, especially for the tech companies here in SF, especially for some of the groups that are like struggling this year with VC funding, all that. And look, you can only play with benefits with one thing, cash. So there's no credit cards or anything like that that you can pay with your benefits. So this is really serious to us and we wanna make sure that we're helping you. And we believe in our PEO partners. And look, we want to see if we can help you out. So let's beat this Q1 renewal together and see how we can help you stay with Blue Cross Blue Shield. Again, I'm uh, looking forward to helping you and uh, see how we can see what we can do. Um, make sure you book a strategy session if you can. By today is uh, tomorrow's going to be October 12th. And by October 13th, you got to book a strategy session because we need to at least talk by Monday or Tuesday next week so we can try to make this happen. Again, we'll see what we can do if you go past that, but I can't make any promises because this is something that has to happen quickly. And again, we're squeezing a 30 to 45 day process into 13 business days, but 19 calendar days, like we got to get acting now. Normally, I don't like to do such a hard like squeeze, but you know, time is of the essence. And again, money does matter to a lot of the groups we work with. Typically, this is something we only do with our clients, but we want to help anyone out that's on Blue Cross Blue Shield. They want to stick with their carrier, but they want to find a way to beat this renewal. This is a perfect option for you if that's, uh, if that's what you need. So again, looking forward to working with you and talk to you soon.